Ooh, did he have a... <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of All Together Now Friday. Fan Loadout 37. Woo! Friday Fan Loadout 37. Here we are on rooftops, and it is ranked masters. And this is your Type 95 loadout. And let's see what I could do with it. This comes from Spike. Hold on, hold on. Oh my god, teammate. Why, teammate? Every time I get interrupted when I start off the Friday Fan Loadout portion. Welcome to Friday Fan Loadout. This is the Type 95 loadout. It comes from Spike. Has grenade. China Lake, Rapid, Elder Island. Choose your own perks. Well, hate to break it to you, Spike. There's only one point after using two points after using all that. And I don't even remember what I have. So I'm going to go ahead and flash it right now. What I have the rest of the way. Don't mind me. I'm just reloading the slow 195. And down I go. Uh, I think the rest of the loadout is... Helping Hand 1 and Weapon Experts 1. So let's see what we can do with this guy. And again, I appreciate everybody. Awesome. Again, at the halftime, we're going to go over Sancho's uh, halftime show. I don't know what it is, but the halftime show is featuring you guys, the community. We're going through some of my favorite comments, and I just really appreciate going through the comment section every time now that I've uh, we've like instituted this um, awesome way to, to include you guys in the community. Because again, it's all about community. And uh, yeah. I have zero perks. I was going to put on El Dorado with faster specters. I did play a previous round, but I had some issue with the audio recording. Uh, it was a good sweaty match on New Devon. So shout out to you if I saw you. Let's see if I can get this bank off the grenade. Give it to me. Uh, I got hit markers. Hit markers are the worst thing for grenades. I'm, we're playing the Sully Brigade using that neon green. Here comes a flank. Uh, I'm going to shove to the side. I'm going to die. I'm gonna die. There's no rope. Mm. All right, gotta slow it down. Gotta slow it down. Usually, when you do these kind of commentaries, you get hyped for a bit. And you don't pay attention to what's going on. You do crazy things, <laughs> like jumping off of buildings. All right, let's. This guy's gonna have to come down mid. There he is. Oh, just a better shot. The Scott Low. I've been recently falling in love with that Scott Low. Nice shot. Nice shot. All right, let's go ahead. Upgrade the grenade. Again, we have three different things I could upgrade into. Not playing well, so I'm going to hit up these diamonds. The Type 95, it's one of those guns that you have to wrap your head around. <laughs> Please. There we go, that's what I wanted. You got to get those headshots. Got in the window. No hit marker. Is he, is he going? Is he wrapping around? Has to be. There he is. I didn't lose that wall. Had help that time around. Staff is helping me. It's always nice to have a staff. Double staff. I don't have stealth. I'm going to play it slow now. Sometimes you got to stick with it, man. Especially in rank. You don't want to, you know, forfeit. You don't want to rage quit. You just want to stick with it. C4 thrown. Come here, come here. All right, all right, all right. You gotta get centered. You get the, the the energy comes within the chi. I've been watching Iron Fist so far. I'm lukewarm on it. I've, I've been having this theory when it comes to Netflix shows and binging. I think people have gotten um, used to. You know, that benching aspect. And I believe sometimes some shows you can't bench. There's a lot of explosions there. What happened to you? I have a helping hand one. It's at least a start. I'm afraid someone's going to pull me down. So I'm going to sit right here for a second. Pop a squad. There's a lot of, like, explosions and death. Alright, just pop right up. Nice and slow. Don't have a lot of bullets. Agro walk in. Okay, nice. Find a nice little cubby hole. Nice little cheap down. That's what you need. That's what you need to get you right back into that rhythm. Now you got. Now my confidence is up. Now I could. I'm feeling better. You know. When you <laughs> you got to get in. You got to get that confidence, man. When your confidence is waning, you got to get that back. Because it's one of those games, man. It's like quicksand. It was like the replacements. You can't read. I feel like I'm in quicksand. 
No matter how hard you try, it just gets worse. That's a terrible Keanu Reeves. Oh no. This trials and tribulations are we weapon expert ones when you accidentally vault over something. Yeah. I hate that with a passion. All right, five to five. Shout out to Imp right now for carrying. There's a couple of teammates that are carrying me right now. I had a nice little run there to get me get my feet wet. We got clip capacity. That's what it is. Clip capacity with the Type 95. That's the one thing that I was missing. All right. Again, without headshots. Please come to me, uh, Abracadabra. All right. I would I would have saved you. Rolled right into that. Just confirm that. Oh, I did not confirm that. Okay, okay. Skipping grenades are dangerous, especially when you're going down the stairs. Pick this guy up together. Hold down triangle before you get to it, and it will count. You don't have to press triangle. Look at all these resis. I like it. You don't have to press triangle. You know what I mean? You could just hold it down and you just walk up close to that person and they'll start picking them up. A little nice little tip right there that that because sometimes lifting your thumb up and pressing it, that's that split second. So just press triangle, walk up to them, and you're right back at it. I'm gonna cover this flank for a bit. Wow, we blew up this lead. Our our team team reses revives key. Key to keeping us in. I'm gonna try to protect him here for a second. Catch this. Ooh, did he have a? Oh. <laughs> that thing was in front of me, and I went kaboom! Uh, I have a lot of money, but the match is gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and get the Eldorado. If you're gonna use this loadout in a short match, you may find out that you don't have any cash. Being trapped at that thing, that's a bad place to be. There's really not that many places you can go. Uh -oh. Squid, throw it. I'm out. El Dorado kill. Thank you. Oh, uh, I need some headshots to survive that one. That's that's what you call the squid. The squid just like an octopus swimming about the sea without a care in the world. You just gotta ah get out of there. Actually, that was a great Eldorado. If I had faster specters, I would have had a lot more damage. Here comes the mysticals. GG's. I mean, good teammates. Imp and, and uh, uh, Coco Cabana, I think that's what it is. GG's had a lot of assists there. Started off slow, got right back to it. But well, GG's to uh, Pike and Kenta and Shin and Top uh, Top Showtime. Man, Top Showtime, 20 assists. Look at that, 20 assists. Well, the staff definitely helped. I got 12 assists without a staff. <laughs> I like to pepper at people and they get away. Did I, did, please, did I get above it? Yeah, I got above average. Moving up, moving up. <clears throat> I hope next season I get into rank. Masters sooner so I can work my way up that leaderboard, baby. All right, let's go to the halftime, your community halftime. First things first, let's go ahead and talk about the person that went ahead and got the number one comment right out the gate. You know, those people that get the, the notification squad. Let me just get through all this stiff and back right out here. The notification squad, and it went to there it is, boom. Malik Owens first and some other stuff I cannot see. Thanks, shout out to you, Malik. Thank you for hearing the call. Here is Wilf Marshall, the guy that I've been doing Wilf's loadouts for the past three weeks. Three, three weeks in a row. Pretty good. I won't leave a loadout in this video to give others a chance, but thanks for playing with my loadouts. I'm completely fine with what you said. Thanks a lot. Thumbs up. This is what I mean, man. Thank you so much for understanding, and that's an awesome community that we're building together of and in I want to make that like as clear as possible. He didn't have to say that. He could be like, ah, I'm gonna leave the Lord out anyway. 
But you know what? That's what's cool uh, that we're building, guys. This comes from Armando. Hey, Sancho, I honestly love your vids, but when, Tulu, when is Tulu coming back? Plus, bring that back because I've been watching your channel for so long, ever since your few, first few to last of those videos. I really want old Sancho back. I made this YouTube account so I could just send this to you because it wasn't you that I would have been playing with you delay, Tulu Hunt. I understand uh, The Last of Us is going to come back. I was, um, I'm was i working on a project, and I went through all my Last of Us videos. I have a lot of Last of Us videos out, and there's currently you know, people like Naked 30, people like uh, Bobby Barks, people like Mad Circle 70. There's a lot of uh, Vince. There's a lot of Last of Us uh, YouTubers, uh, Josh uh, uh, Stokens. All those you know, Last of Us YouTubers are still going strong. Uh, if you look in my, I was looking through my stuff, and I was like, man, all this stuff that they that you know that some people out there are doing not necessarily the ones that I mentioned but there's people out there are doing I've already made those kinds of videos so it's kind of hard for me as a creator to go back on that but I always said there will be a perfect time for last of us content to come back to the channel if you go to my twitch channel twitch.tv slash Sancho West um, we I do stream that on, on a, I'm trying to stream it on a weekly basis this comes from Bruno Tiago Sancho I'm from Brazil send hello hello right to you and this one comes from French Fro guy that we mentioned in the last community spot up wow i'm speechless thank you so much sancho i won't get all soppy and shh, but that was massive incredibly humbled freaking stoked huge thanks to both of your cell phones rio and muse ray it means a lot to me hey keep doing what you do in french Fro, and the people will come content builds community thank you so much for making some awesome content about uncharted I cannot wait to see what else you do and hope we get more eyes on that awesome channel uh, this comes up from TMZ7. Well played, great YouTuber and uh, good person above everything. Always bringing the positive vibes on to Greens of Portugal. What up, buddy? Portugal, we've got Brazil, got the, the Latin America covered, South America. Um, and wait, Portugal. <laughs> I always say when I do some on spot, Portugal's in Spain. Oh, man, it's been late. It's like I, I when I was a young kid. I used to love being uh, with Carmen San Diego. That was the thing that was all about. Portugal is in Europe, located right next to España, which I've been to, beautiful country. I did not go to Portugal though. This comes from Mr. Black Mamba 24. Naughty Dog really needs to implement some sort of feature that allows you to play on maps you prefer. I keep playing on New Devon and that horrendous root type map, which I just played on. Several times, it barely get remnants, which is one of my favorites. I hate that root type map with a passion. Well, the thing is, Naughty Dog is, this is one of the things that a lot of people, when I stream with Naughty Dog and when I watch moderate Naughty Dog streams, is a lot of people want map voting, but they, the thing they stand behind is that it, you do not want to prolong the matchmaking process and that you don't want to, because it has to go through another uh, loading process when you pick a map, it has to load the map, because what it does is while it's matchmaking, it's loading the map that we uh, play. I mean, the, on the flip side, you don't want a downtown stigma created where no one plays on downtown from The Last of Us, even though downtown's a great map. Me, I don't mind whatever map plays on. I, I do have maps that I don't like because I've just been playing it way too long. Like Island, I struggle on Island and I don't like it. But I will never pass Naughty Dog for trying to add something that the community wants because there's lots of things in Uncharted 4 that were added eventually. This comes from Mr. Sneaker. Yo, Sancho, what would it be if you were not Uncharted 4 YouTube? What would you be? I don't know, man. I'll probably be acting if I wasn't a YouTuber. What game I'll be playing? I'm most likely For Honor or some of the Ubisoft titles out there. Maybe Rainbow Six Siege. Those kind of things are, are, are scratching my itch before Uncharted 4 multiplayer um, but now for honor the thing is I don't know I mean I honestly don't know where I would be I always said I created a YouTube channel because I wanted to create a stage for myself um, let's see this next one comes from sneaky shot I think that if you get blind fired down you should get less money for that down or lose money for whatever I don't think losing money blind fire. guys the thing is you got to change your mind about blind fire adjust to the situation understand okay this player's a blind fire player I'm gonna back up a lot of people run headstrong and they blind fire themselves just back up a bit there's nothing wrong aim aiming down sights is strong you see up you hear P90 guy out there don't get yourself in those situations back up distance is your friend uh, Aaron said, so you said YouTube is your full-time job, but what is your full-time job? Uh, I work in the digital media company. Uh, I work at a digital media company in the sense where it is within. It's hard to explain. I just work in digital media in Los Angeles. Uh, it's not something that I, 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 I want to do for the rest of my life. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Uh, it's just no, it's just a regular nine to five job. Uh, I am surrounded and embedded still in the culture of YouTube in a way, but it's in a different kind of sector. Uh, this comes from Bon. Hello, hola, Sancho. When I post this comment because I see you talk with Uncharted multiplayer creators, well, this month I played three games with cheaters. Uncharted uh, 
four or three. I have replays. You, you can't send them. You ban them. Sorry for my English. Like, so, uh, Sandra sees comment. The thing is, uh, it's hard to say, man. I only say you need to record it and send it to Naughty Dog. There's feedback, feedback forms. I just, that, because that's what they would ask of me is like, where's the footage? What happened? Who was it? And that's the kind of thing that you need to have good video evidence because they do ban people or, you know, you don't want to have that without any kind of sufficient evidence. This comes from Trevor. Go back to the good old days. The last of everybody talks about you, the online saviors. You're a god in the last of the community. Again, guys, I am not a god, a demigod, a legend. I'm just a dude, okay? I'm just a dude just like you and me. We're just people, okay? We share the same space. Um, just I just want to stress that as much as possible, man. I'm just a regular guy. Um, it's always humbling to me to have people say, and I don't mean that humbling thing in a, in a higher place. It's always freakish to me that people consider me that way or when I walk into the lobby and they get excited for me, you know, I, that's just not, um, yeah, I, I don't, that's not what gets me going. What gets me going is building the community. What gets me going is, is interacting with you guys. And it's not about, uh, the celebrity status I, it's not that's not what it's about I, I always yes I like being in front of the camera yes I, I thrive in front of a camera and personality wise that's what I want to do when I when I was a little kid I wanted to be an actor but I think it's just a, a different concept when it comes to gaming because we all share the same thing uh, but those are all the comments thank you guys so much for leaving your comments we're gonna go ahead and talk about a community member that we need to highlight this community member right here and someone that I had my eye on during the co-op days, and I've already gave him a shout out, but I want to give you guys a shout, a proper shout out for Friday Fan Loadout. This guy is called Boom. Why so serious? One sixty. Why is so serious? Has a lot of created uh, content on Uncharted Four, as you can see his banners on Uncharted Four, and you can see he has a lot of stuff in survival co-op, a lot of tutorials, a lot of like one-off things about the Type ninety five. There's a lot of awesome things going on in this channel, and I wanted to give it a proper shout out. So again, let's continue building this community together. Why so serious? One sixty. Let's go ahead and give him the sub. Boom. And I want you guys to do that as well. If you so inclined, I'll put the description down. Down below for why so serious 160 games don't die the community continues to stay tight together okay I just want to make that stress up to you last of us is still thriving you know that game is never gonna die because the community is tight-knit and I want to build that with the Uncharted 4 community no matter how many people say it's impossible how many people say a game is dying I, I really don't find that a game dies what dies is the community and then the game goes away so we stay together. This is gonna be awesome. We can continue building, and uh, that's what I want to do with this halftime show. All right, enough of the feels. Let's go ahead and get to the second half. More action, less feels. Let's go ahead and get to the second half of Sancho Selection, where I pick a loadout that maybe didn't get a lot of votes, and sometimes I pick something that did get a lot of votes. The problem is you need to leave a loadout down below, which is with the theme of the next episode. So pay attention to the end of the episode. Leave a, a loadout and leave a comment because you might be featured here in the second half at halftime, but let's go to the second half. Your loadouts, my skill. Let's do this! Yeah! And we are back, and this is the second half of Friday Night Lights 37. This is Sancho's selection. Hold on, I know there's gonna be baddies here. I don't want to be interrupted. This is the loadout that I selected. This comes from Slim Skills. Is the Type 95 loadout includes drafts, <laughs> drafts, drapes, Drake's Rapica, Smoke Bomb, Channel Lake, uh, Sniper Sidekick, Mark on Damage 3, and Helping Hand 3. Let's see what I can do here on prison, ladies and gentlemen. Why do I have Drake's drapes out? <laughs> Wish I had a lethal. You guys really hurt. Sully's really hurt. Nice flank from. This guy's getting res like right there. As I was, uh, I was in my mind. I was saying, uh, I like the loadouts that you guys are leaving me. I would just want to say, challenge yourselves and challenge me to much more crazier loadouts. Not don't go like off the wells, off the rails crazy. But say there's something that's scratching that itch in the back of your mind, like, will this work? Will this loadout work? I want to see if this works. By all means, give it to me. Give, let me be your guinea pig. 
Let me be your guinea pig, all right? Let me try to struggle for you guys. Let me be the one that suffers if you... Please, oh no. Nice, nice play with the aggro wall. That's exactly what I would've done. Uh, I, I overextended my reach. But yeah, let me be your guinea pig, guys. Let me, uh, you know, give me, give me the tough questions that you may ask me. A lot of these loadouts are good. These are the ones I would say are sound, but there's a lot of boosters that we're not discovering. Maybe give me something that may not work, and maybe I can make it work. I'm a firm believer that every loadout is effective if you if you approach it the right way. Um, but remember, I'm playing ranked master, so don't leave me completely. I mean, I'm down. I'm down. Just, just be nice. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, pistol only. I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Not going to do that because, one, I'm proud that I have less than 20 downs with the pistol for, you know, as we approach our year anniversary with the game. I'm proud of that. I don't want to lose it. And I already played one match with this loadout, and what I've noticed is that my lack of lethals, this is what the jumping on point was at, because oh, you guys are really nice to me, give me a grenade. My lack of lethals makes things a little bit difficult for me because my playstyle relies so much on the flanking, all those kinds of things of, of being the aggressor, being the one that, that flanks at that last second type of vibe. And without that, you know, who am I? <laughs> That is my identity, so I, I'm all for try, trying different things. Uh, you know, just explore, 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 explore. The reason why I picked this little out is because it has a smoke grenade, and I, I, I want to challenge myself. Oh my god, gun. How many shots do I need in a man before he goes down on all fours? Let's make it smoky in here. Ow! Uh, he, he totally take that song out of context. <laughs> Back to it, 16 to 3. We're laying the wood. 17 to 3. So far, we've just been having nice matches here. Now, the thing is, though, when you're in Masters. It's not based on if you win or lose. That's the only thing that I wish Night would consider that. Because if we blow out this team and it's not my averages, you know, it just doesn't. Oh, no! This doesn't work for me. Thank you for the res pack. Thank you for the pillow. I'm going to bring out the sniper. I'm going to put it up there where that guy is because these guys are kind of they're kind of now they're, they're keeping their distance. Um, they're doing exactly what I was doing the last round. They're trying to get their feet under them. Because um, right now, they're definitely wibbly-wobbly. Let's put this right here because my teammates are going to flush out that team to that left side eventually. And that will protect our flank as well. Unless this team is stubborn and wants to hold this front. Here, bring, bring you right here. I want to go down. I got it. Ah, oh, this hunter. Who's shooting at my girl? Sniper Sally. She's gonna hold down that lane right there. Anything could happen, and even though we're, we got the lead right now. All right. All right. They got one themselves. Oh, oh, she shoots. All right, they're kind of now, like I said, anything could happen. Right now they're nice. Nice. Oh, I wish I had cook capacity. If I had one more bullet, I would have got that guy. I should have switched over. If I had the grenade launcher, I know, I know. You always, my pro tip for flanking, always walk in there with an explosive. Whether it be one of these. 
another you. Do not steal my I got you, buddy. I got I got help in hand three. Don't worry, I could take that. Oh, when your teammate blocks you when you roll away. <laughs> come on, man, come on, man, move. Uh, that's one of the worst things that I always hate is when you're like you're playing right and there's that little piece of cover and you both need to be on it. And you're like, share the cover. Alright, I'm gonna try to push these guys towards my sniper. He's going to town right now. I gotta help her out because she could get killed by the guy that's got marked. Help me, sniper! Yes. Continue to go to work. Alright, now there's someone up there. See, she's looking that way. No! Sally! I, I knew I needed to protect her. I'm dead. Oh, I'm alive. Oh, get C! Oh, come on! All right, five. You, you, you win that battle, dear sir. Nope. I'm back. And I ran right into a Dorito, but I'm gonna. Nope. Oh, oh, please, please. Oh no, I thought some. There is someone right up there. Res, res. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? Not bad, not bad, not bad. Eleven to four. Oh boy. Oh boy. I love that Sully suit. Again, really bright. You didn't do it alone. This guy's really hurt. Sometimes I like I don't try to focus in on someone. Once I know that they got him. As you can see, I'm usually marked on damage three and smoke. So you get a hit on them. Uh, uh. Don't make it be ah! in a uh -oh. I'm dead. Here's the deal. That guy, as you can see, was just blind firing his way towards me. If he would have just stood in that corner, blah blah blah, got those headshots, could have been and moved on. Could have kept moving on. Could have kept moving on. Even though he still got the same thing. Less efficient blind fire. That wastes a lot of ammo as well. So think about it. Think about it. Educate. That's the way to make the change in this world. Yes. Grow, grow, grow. Grow! I feel like Rita Repulsa. Grow, my monster! Grow! Which I haven't seen yet. I haven't seen yet. All right, All right, guys. That wraps up this episode of Friday. The Loadout. Thank you guys so much for leaving everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are the best. Shout out to everyone who left the comment. Uh, again, shout out to the Patreon producer, supporters, patreon.com slash Sancho West. Go there if you want to give a little bit. One dollar a month to make the dream come true. So consider that. Go to patreon.com slash Sancho West if you have any other things. There's a big project coming down the pipe as well. I can't wait to share with you all those kinds of awesome things. Uh, let's go to the next loadout. Uh, the next loadout that I would like to explore is to do the in the I call it the any. It's, the, it's so much easier to say, but let's explore the gun, the N I N S A S. The any, give me your best loadout with the I N S A S, and we'll see what I can do with it. As always, try to be a little bit creative, and maybe give your loadout, but you know, let's sprinkle in some variety in there. All right, I really do look forward to your loadouts. I look forward to reading your comments, and more importantly, I look forward to that person that you want to give a shout out to the community again. Comment down below and check out Why So Serious 160. The link is in the description. Let's build this community together and let's grow together. Thank you guys so much for watching Friday Film Loadout number 37. I'll see you guys on the other side. Have a great weekend. And as always, ooh, yeah. Peace. Adios, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.